What's up guys, my name is Glassfoot and welcome back to another episode of Tabletop Tales. Now, you might be wondering why I'm wearing a um, suit jacket. Well, that's because the tale I want to tell you about today is a tale I like to call the Stage Father. Yes, I know that was an awful Marlon Brando impression. I'm not very good at his voice. But um, basically, it's about a Sturge that uh, made us off as we couldn't refuse. Again, I apologize for the awful Marlon Brando impression there. I know it's bad, but you'll, you'll see why. This tale comes from the Tomb of Annihilation. Now, this was run by a different buddy of mine, Keith. He is not the typical DM that I was playing with at the time, Zach. So, our group had started, and we were a fairly large group. We had a character who was basically Captain America, a number of others. I legit actually can't remember who the hell else was playing with us at the time, because there were like eight of us that were actual player characters, but then there was also me, the wizard. The wizard is the fun one. The, the Captain America rogue and the wizard are the two that really matter most. Now, I was a high elf wizard, about 200 years old, so I had been around the block and I had seen a number of things. Uh, magic was my forte and I loved to burn things to a crisp with fire. I may have based him off of myself mixed with Harry Dresden a little bit because I'm weird like that. But we were playing through this game and and we had managed to enter a cave. Now, in this cave, there were Terra folk that we fought and killed, but before that, we came across a group of about 15 Sturges. Now, the Sturges, I can't remember if they got rounds of attack on us first, but I ended the combat in one turn, basically, by walking up and casting Burning Hand. With the Burning Hand spell, I got all but one of these little bug bastards. And <laughs> the final one suddenly started to speak common. This final Sturge, upon speaking to us, said, I'll be back and I will get you for this, and flew away. Our rogue, Captain America, uh, immediately flew after this little fucker and tried to stab him. He sadly missed and failed. I say sadly, even though, hilariously, this actually led to one of the better moments later on. Uh, but the Sturge got away, and we did not see him for the rest of the tomb. We actually didn't get to finish the Tomb of Annihilation with Keith. He was going to college at the time, and so he had to leave. We weren't able to finish up his game specifically. However, the Sturge Father did make another appearance later in one of my friend Zach's games. Now, I can't remember if we were actually in town or not, but we were going through, I, I think I was the same wizard, I was allowed to bring him over because I just wanted to continue playing him, but anyway, we ran into a group of Sturges, but one of these Sturges was a hell of a lot bigger than the rest of them, and basically the leader of this Sturge Mafia, effectively, but he also spoke common. Now, I don't know if it was canonically supposed to be the same Sturge that missed me roasting it alive, but I'm just like to imagine that it was because I burned that bastard to a crisp. Yeah, I know Sturges aren't the highest level of enemies, but it is absolutely hilarious to think that one of them, after escaping, managed to get bigger just as an effort to seek revenge on the wizard that burned the rest of his friends alive. Hey guys, I know this was a bit of a shorter video, but hey, I wanted to make it. The Sturge Father is one of my funniest stories. At least I personally think it is. I think it's absolutely hilarious. But yeah. Anyway, I hope that y'all enjoyed that video. If you'd like to follow me on Twitter or Instagram, links to both of those are going to be in the description down below as always. But that's all I have for now, guys. I hope that y'all have a fantastic day. And as always, peace out.